everybody how's it going so um i wanted to make a video i know the sun is like shining out it's beautiful and it's a nice day out but i don't know like there's really nothing to do i put my makeup on i mean i did my makeup because i'm just bored um i should put some lipstick on just a minute all right so yeah like there's really nothing to do um um yeah you know and I'm not working, so I was thinking about taking off till the end of the month. I don't know why. My hair looks stupid. I don't like the way it looks. I gotta do something with it. But what? I don't like the way it looks right now. Oh my gosh. Who cares, right? My bangs are growing out, and it's just like, they're annoying. So, I don't know. <laughs> um, whatever. Mm, but yeah, um, I wanna do something with my freaking hair, and I don't know what. I know I keep putting this thing in, but just whatever. So anyways, um, yeah, there's nothing to do. Um, I've had a couple people message me and they want to hang out. Like my friend, like Jimmy, but he actually just wants me to go and get him a beer and drop it off. And then he got mad because I'm not going there. Well, <laughs> I'm not responsible for your, like you needing a beer. I'm sorry. And like I said, my other friend wanted me to go there, but I'm just going to stay here. And I said I was going to make a video. So here I am making a video. Um, I do have a topic. I made a little tropical mule, which is really good. Mm. Pineapple-y and good and all that. But so anyways, um, um, I wanted to talk about a few things. First of all, my synchronicities with Ozark. No, actually, I had a synchronicity the other day. I was watching this movie called Flight 1700. And it's on YouTube. It's a free movie. And I'm watching it. And and um, spoilers, if you plan on watching it, then don't listen to this until after. <laughs> but um, it's like it was it's like a cheesy kind of movie, you know? My dad, we were, I was watching it when I went there. <laughs> I know. Hey, I still need to see my parents, all right? But yes, yeah, so we were watching that. And then I came home and watched the rest of it. And, and I noticed they kept saying Corona in it. There's a couple times where you see a Corona in the background. And then, and then the guy's last name is Corona. He's from Corona. And, and it made me think because somebody did a thing on Mandela effect or somebody, um, you know how we all were supposed to die in 2012. See, I'm somebody that just likes conspiracy and weird stuff like that. That's me. So don't sit there and judge me like some people are doing. But anyways, um. So, yeah, um, they said we were supposed to die in 2012, and we're actually really dead. I don't, that's an interesting notion, but I don't think that was the case. But anyways, um, so in this movie, I was starting to get really weird <laughs> because they kept saying corona. I'm like, what if this is us? What if we all died from coronavirus? And in the movie, they're like, they had these, like, dolls, shinny chimmy that they found or something, <laughs> some Japanese doll. And the, the doll signifies a person that, um, the guy was supposed to deliver it to the people that don't realize that they died. I know I'm just giving the I'm giving the movie. I sh I did tell you spoilers before, but yeah. And he and everybody doesn't know what's going on. Weird stuff is happening in this flight. Well, it turns out that they died, and they just didn't want to accept it. They were holding on to it, and and I was like, oh my gosh, what if that's what happened with with this? What if we all died from coronavirus, and we just don't want to accept it? You know. And I was like getting all like <laughs> getting in my head because I do that sometimes. But I like to get in that place where you're going down the rabbit hole and you're just like there, you know, and stuff like that. And then I watch this video where it's saying people are like being mean, like people are like, like possessed and like people are just like nasty and really mean. And I'm thinking about that because that guy was like really mean to me and stuff. And it's like, like, are these trapped souls is that why they're so like mean and rude to people you know and then I, I saw this comment I could still see comments even if you delete them and I saw that honeybee called me trash and all this stuff and saying about the Uggs or whatever I was in the medical field okay I mean but but anyways it doesn't matter my friend told me about that and yeah I feel bad but they're giving out 20,000 so you know um 
I, I am thinking about going into the pharmacy because I have a degree in that. But anyways, um, but yeah, so it, it's a time when we can't, shouldn't be mean to each other and we should like respect each other and support each other and try to be more kind, like spread more kindness. Like there's no reason to be all hateful of hate and like nasty and everything. And just people are, there's so much going on. Like this whole thing is really scary. Like, and we have loved ones and even if we're not afraid of getting sick ourselves, we don't want our loved ones that might, you know, are more susceptible. I certainly don't want that. So yeah, I haven't been at work. I don't go out. If I do go out, like I said, I wear my mask, but I'd go out if I have to buy essentials. So I've been staying home, like really, you know, I do see my parents, yes, and I've seen Mike, but I'm not like going out about, I'm not going with my friends. Like, yeah, Jimmy, you know, came over, but I'm not worried about him. He doesn't go anywhere. And but still, you know, you got to be careful. Like, that's why I'm not going to a friend's house. I've had friends invite me to go out. They're like, you want to go, there's a party or something. And I'm like, um, I don't think that's a good idea right now. So I don't go out, okay? I stay home, you know, and I'm home. And yeah, I'm worried about money, but I'm going to start making an employment and, and all that. I wanted to talk about since no, we're not going out, I kind of wanted to talk about like Hollywood parties and VIP parties that I've been to because I just got um, a memory on Facebook about when I went to the ACM Awards last year. And okay, so I had my camera and I wanted to film getting into um, a VIP backstage red carpet kind of party, you know, with celebrities. And we were trying to do that, but we got in, but they, you know, they kicked us out. That video is up there. But, um, before that, I went to plenty, a lot of video, um, uh, parties with like celebrities and, but the thing was I never really filmed for some reason because I really didn't have a good camera like we do now, you know, this is like back in the 2000s and stuff. Like when I started modeling, it was in 2005 about, and then I started modeling, um, you know, for this fashion designer and all this, but, uh, um, I never really had a good camera or video camera, so I never like filmed things, but in retrospect, I really wish I did because I went to a lot of cool places and I've met a lot of like celebrities and famous people. So I'm just going to talk about that a little bit. Um, I don't know, you know, let me have a sip of this. I'm going to have to make another one, but yeah, so, um, 2005, I was modeling for this fashion designer and I'm going to write a book about it. I know I say, and I'm, I'm trying to, but I have to pay for a word and I'm like not getting around to it, you know, because you have to pay to like, I don't want to do it in my blogs, whatever. Like, I guess I could, but I got to stop making excuses and actually like, you know, start writing. <laughs> but um, this guy is a fashion designer. He showed me his site before I went there when I was doing modeling and he's actually a predator, but that will be all written in my story. But he was... He did appear legit. He had pictures of him with Paris Hilton, um, all kinds of celebrities, you know, Paula Abdul, I don't know, um, Donald Trump, like a lot, right? Um, and actually I was at parties with Donald Trump's kids and I met his kid and his ex-wife. But anyways, um, yeah, so like, because we, we would go, we went to a party, that was the first like main event party I went to, like that was in the Hamptons for, it was called a white party. And they had that kind of thing and and i'm like wow and they were taking pictures of us like paparazzi <laughs> and we and it ended up in hamptons magazine so i don't know what happened to that copy but there's a copy of and if you look in it you'll see me in, in at this party this like really like hamptons like nice party and there was a couple like famous people there and like there was i had to write it all down seriously but i you know i he was in new york city so i would take the bus up and we would, i would go there like every week, weekend about, you know, and just like help out and stuff. And we went to parties, like openings for like hotels. We went to this opening for a, called Dream Hotel. Yeah, what was that? I was sorry, I'm gross. It was like, hmm. hold on, I need another drink, hold on. Um, We were at like a party for Tab, like, and there was, like Fergie was there and Missy Elliott and like, and I look good. I look nice too. And, you know, but we had to follow him around and like, you can't really, I mean, you could take, I don't know. 
I didn't really ask anybody that I saw for pictures because he would get upset if we did. But we were around a lot of like celebrities and like I went to like like parties in New York City where it was like fundraisers and like balls, like stuff like that. And um, you know, um we traveled everywhere. We went to like this is all gonna be written in my book, so I'm not going to like sit here and try to remember everything. But we went to Fashion Week here and there, you know, we went to the magic conventions. Um you know, we'd go to parties and stuff just so we could get our picture for wire image. He was always so excited when his photo was on wire image. But I don't think they ever sold his photos anywhere because whatever, you know. But um, his name his name is Anon John if you want to Google him. But yeah, I worked for him for a while and ugh, that's why I'm going to write a story, you know. I have a perhaps nothing special. Whatever. I wasn't planning on drinking, but here I am. Like I was kind of... I don't know what to do. It's like bored and I mean, I like to paint and stuff, but whatever. I'm making videos right now <laughs> and I'm going to watch some more of my show and whatnot. But, um, but I didn't just go to parties with him. Like I started hanging out with one of the, his photographers that he worked for Patrick McMillan. His name is, he was a really cool guy. Like he was really friendly and nice. His name's Chance. He's like this, this happy like Asian guy that was like oh like chubby kind of but he was like my friend and and like he used to invite me to parties in New York City so we would go and and with him it was fun because I could just like drink from open bar you know and these were like VIP parties with celebrities like you can't just get in you know like I went to New York City party and there was all kinds of celebrities there and you know and then you get to eat the hors d'oeuvres and and like, this is New York City, there's a difference between NYC parties and LA parties, you know, because I went to a lot of LA parties too. And I went like a lot of places and I did meet a lot of celebrities and stuff. And, you know, I just wish I had, I took pictures and I have lots of, lots of pictures of famous people, but I wish I was able to like capture like the environment, like going to these places and just like filming it, but I never really did. You know, because I don't know, but now, see, I want to do that now, but I'm like, where, when am I going to go out to LA and go to the parties? Like, we can't go anywhere right now. And I live here and it's hard for me to just, I mean, I can, I guess, but I have bills, you know, like I said, and, you know, it's hard for me to just like take off and try to get into parties, but that is fun to do. It's something that I, I <coughs> excuse me, it's not coronavirus. I just, hold on. Yeah. See, I don't know why I'm like, Ugh. but yeah, like I was to a lot of parties. <laughs> I was to a lot of parties. Um, and it was a lot of fun. It's just, you know, I wish I captured it like on camera. I went into the governor's ball for after the golden globe awards. I went to breaking bad rap party and I saw all those celebrities that were, at, you know, the breaking bad people and all that. And like, what else like different events or like yahoo parties or stuff like that like and you get like gift bags and they give you nice things like clothes hoodies um baseball caps or like workout clothes or um electric toothbrushes like you could get really cool things in these gift bags yoga mats stuff like that you know books um and i also organized a party for the when I worked for the Multicultural Motion Picture Association, I worked for the guy, he died, though. his name was Jarvi Hutcherson. But um, it was a thing called Multicultural, the MMPA, and I was like his secretary, and I was in charge of, when I was living in Hollywood, um, I had to like send out all the emails for the, for the gift bags, you know, what we're gonna give people, and pretty much though, like somehow, all my stuff that I did wasn't even in the gift bags. So I don't know what the point of me even being there was but <laughs> and I I got the silent auction and everything but yeah that was pretty interesting but that party had like some famous people in it they did send an invite to Leonardo DiCaprio but he never went <laughs> but anyways a lot of famous people were there like Idris Elba and actually I did get to walk t the actress Tatiana Ali I had to show her how to get down the red carpet and I dreamed Elba. So when they got there, it's the red carpet. It was really windy and cold. I'm wearing a little dress and it was like, it was at Universal Studios, you know? 
and I had to like say, okay, this is where you're going. And I had to walk them down the red carpet, <laughs> you know, and they did our hair and makeup for that event too. Like I, you know, I've been to the Playboy Mansion. Yeah, I've been to Playboy, like stuff like events. I went to Playboy parties and Comic Con. I went to big Playboy party, True Blood party. And there's a lot of celebrities there. Um, you know, I've been to, oh yeah, yeah. Like now I've been to a lot of places. That's all I'm saying is, you know, sometimes if you look at my image, you will see me if you put my name in it. But I kind of miss that excitement. I'm not going to lie. It is exciting. Hey, you know, and people are going to say, are you going to judge me and put me down because of this? Like, it's really interesting, you know? And like, now that we're just st stuck at home, it's kind of like, let's just, let's just um, lose ourselves in the moment or just look past. I don't know what I'm saying. Because <laughs> my, um, my time's about to come up at 18 minutes. I might have no SD card in here, so... But it's kind of good to like listen to stories about travel. I love hearing people's traveling stories and and I like that kind of thing. I, I want to travel more, you know. I really don't want it just to be like this forever, you know. Anyways, so judge me all you want because a lot of people do talking about where I live. And, but whatever, you know what? I'm just going to be positive and just like things will be better, all right. But on to the next chapter. Thanks for listening. And I'm going to write that book that I said when I worked for him. And, and I'll let you all know when I finally do finish it, you know. All right, bye.